Absolutely not. Not once. Um, being here is a very unique experience. Um, the whole shoot itself was was a remarkable experience. A lot of hard work went into it. An amazing environment to work in, um, and to tell a great story. And there's been enough separation now from February when we finished the shoot last year um, to this point that this I've had enough of disconnect that now seeing pictures of myself and sitting in front of that is crazy again because it wasn't has been part of my daily life for a year and a half and um, it's exciting I'm just looking forward to showing the story to the world Okay, favorite moment. There's sort of this showdown moment, very Western type thing in uh, Smallville, which was shot in Plano. And there's all sorts of destruction everywhere, and it's me facing off against Feora and Namek. And in between setups, it was just standing there, relaxing. This breeze of wind gets channeled down this, this street, this main street, and my cape catches it. And I'm sitting there thinking, this must look pretty cool. And then sure enough, as it's happening, people walking across the street in front of me, having these moments of looking at me going, yeah, dude, that's pretty cool. I'm like, okay, I, I guess it is. And that was one of those fun moments where you think, oh, wow, you know, I'm playing Superman, standing in a Superman suit. And even the crew are saying it's cool. I thought it was important, and I'm glad we focused so much on it, um, because I don't think it's been told in live action before now. Um, it certainly existed in the comic books, but it's made it very different, and we wanted to base our story very much in realism. And in reality, there's not just black and white. Um, in fact, they're very rarely black and white. It's mostly different shades of grey, and in that, it's, it makes a character interesting, because each decision made from any character is not obvious. And you've got to think, how would a being feel if he genuinely was an alien? Not just felt like an alien, but was an alien and had these abilities which he had to keep hidden, but he still wanted to help people, but he knew if he did help people, there's a chance terrible things might happen. He's lived his entire life with only two people knowing what he can do. Two people who sympathize with him, but cannot empathize. What that what must feel like is, is something else, and how it's been ignored in the past, I find amazing. And it's just great to tell the story in its fullness, as opposed to just part of the thing, which is a great part, the fantastic superpowers, but now we get to tell the whole character and show the soul of Superman. I think the hardcore fans are going to love this. The one thing which I've always heard fans say is, is Superman going to throw a punch in this one? And you, they're going to get that. They're going to get that. They're going to get more than that. And we all know Zack Snyder. His stuff is perfectly applied to this movie. There is awesome action, and the diehard fans are going to love it. They're really going to love it. It's a very, very special thing. It was some hard training, very hard training, but made as comfortable as possible, um, as that kind of training can be anyway, by Mark Dwight and Mike Blevins from Jim Jones. I respect them enormously. They'll be friends for life. The one thing which I can be most thankful for them is they understood what I was doing. They understood that I had a job as well to do after walking out of the gym. I had another 14 hours. You know, I'd go to the gym for an hour in the morning and then 14 hours of work afterwards. So they would push me as far as they knew they could push me, but never beyond. It's very easy to crush someone in a, in a gym if you say, just do this. But they were doing the stuff with me and they gave me reason and understanding to push myself. And I, I couldn't be more thankful.